Hello beautiful people, welcome to Mimsy Vids. I am Marwa aka Mimsy and today I'm joined by Zara K, the one and only. Um, so, hi. Hi. <laughs> so today basically we are in Stratford, if you haven't noticed, in London. We're out and about. We are here to ask people in the city uh, what they think about the situation in Brunei. So if anyone doesn't know, recently, April 3rd, uh, a law, Sharia law actually, was released in Brunei, which basically says that they're allowed to punish gay people, well, the act of gay people, isn't it? So the act of sodomy, and the punishment is stoned to death. Um, so we want to ask people what they think about that, if that's something they agree with, what their views are on Sharia law, and all those questions. So join us and we'll ask away. Basically in Brunei, they've just had a law which has come from Sharia. I don't know if you know about this already. Yeah, so basically they're punishing gay people. They're stoning them to death for sodomy. So what, what's your opinions on that as a Muslim? Um, I don't know what exactly the law is to, with regards to that, but... Um, so they're stoning them to death, basically, if they commit sodomy. <laughs> it's each, each person to their own, to be honest. I don't know why so they're doing do that. Do you not agree with the Sharia law? I do agree with it, but I, I think there's other ways of dealing with it. If you're, if you're not happy with it, then maybe deal with it some other way. And but does that not mean that you don't agree with Sharia law? I do agree with Sharia law. But so you I, agree that it's okay to stone to, to stone people to death is okay then? Not according to me, but that's how the law reads, so I'm not sure how, how it goes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, 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 I don't know what the Sharia law is exactly or how it should be well, I, I mean, so. that, that is the Sharia law, basically, that if they commit sodomy with four witnesses, um, you know, if, if they have an act that kind of Sorry, out in the open. Really, really sorry. Okay. Well, gay, gay is forbidden it's in our religion, but um, I don't think it's, like, good to, like, punish people for it, so. Yeah. I'm against it because it's not mentioned in the Quran. It's actually not mentioned in the Quran. Are you a Muslim or you are? Okay, perfect. So obviously I think I shouldn't make any comments while I don't have any knowledge about the Sharia law so it will not going to be it's going to be offensive. Basically, I uh, was going to ask what do you think about the laws in Brunei for stoning gay people to death? Um I don't think I feel everyone has a right to do whatever they want. Yeah, but what about it shouldn't be like exactly. Yeah. Sorry, go on. They shouldn't be um tortured like or for what they do for what they like though. I think it's wrong because I obviously I live over here. But at the end of the day that's Brunei. So let them deal with their own laws. I think it's atrocious. It's not, really, it's, it's yeah. not, it's not a good thing. No, I think that's really wrong because I think everyone's just the same. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, I think everyone's human. They have their own opportunity to choose what, 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 what they want to be heterosexual or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Basically, do, are you aware of the new laws in Brunei stoning gay people to death? Do you know that law? No, no, no. What's your background? Are you Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Muslim? Yeah. Do you know that in Sharia law, they uh, it's to punish gay people by stoning to death? Did you know that that's in the law? Somewhat, yeah. Yeah, but obviously, I shouldn't really be talking about this one. I'm born in the and everything like that. Well, I haven't even heard the law. But, um, to be honest, I know it's, it's not allowed in Islam. It's wrong. Okay, do, did you know that uh, in Islam, like, gay people get a punishment? Um, well, we knew it wasn't like a great thing, but we weren't aware of what was happening. Do you agree with there being a punishment of stoning to death? No. It's, uh, from my point of view, it's barbaric actually because uh, we're in uh, 21st century. Yeah. This is outdated in this age actually. Yeah. We're in a different time right now. We're in a different time, so you can't be doing things that was happening before. Okay, so even though it's in Sharia law... No, but it's still forbidden in Islam. To punish it's, people for some, something there. No, it's not. It's, it's, it you're, it's, you, they do get punished for it in Islam. But I, I don't want to speak on a topic. I don't want to speak on a topic. But your own personal opinion it doesn't have to be like a, you know, a, a scholarly opinion. I don't think a human should punish somebody else for someone for their opinion. own. No, that's my personal opinion. I don't think someone else should punish somebody else for their beliefs. I think they should wait for the creator to just punish that person. If he says that the gay people should be punished, then by all means they should be punished. And would you do the punishing though? Would I do the punishing? That's, that's, no. I, didn't, I didn't say I'm going to do the punishing. No, but but that's the mean? Sharia. If the Sharia is like that, then there's nothing. 
we can't disagree with what the Prophet said. What if your son was gay? Would you want him to be stoned to death? Well, according to Islam, if your son is gay, then he's not really your son. Okay, so you would disown him? Yeah. If the Quran doesn't say so, I will follow the Quran and not the Hadith. Yeah. So do you not agree with parts of Sharia law? Are there are they any other parts that you agree with Sharia law? Um, no, just like the game. I don't, I don't have anything in mind, but just the yeah, game. Yeah, right. I do agree fully with Islam, but, but there's like, we shouldn't be voicing our opinion out loud. Like. But even if you don't voice out your opinion, would you say that you have a dis distaste for gay people? No, I don't have a problem with gay people. But Islam does. Yeah, but like, I don't, you man can't. No, like, I, 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 don't, I, I don't want to corner you. I don't have like, a problem with it. People like, have the right to believe what so they, what they want. Yeah. Like, you know, at a young age, when you're inclined to be attracted to men, they are also inclined to be attracted to the same sex. So it's not a choice. Did you know that? Um, I know that now. You know that now? Yeah. So having known that now, do you disagree that they should uh, be punished? Um, yeah. I don't think anyone should be punished, to be honest. Yeah. I think they should be left alone. Yeah. Um, did you know that law is part of Sharia law? Well, not, not as I understand it. It's Sharia, but Sharia is not static it's not dynamic okay. it's, it's got to go with the culture and and the, and the, and the signs of times you cannot stop people to death in yeah. the 21st century it's yeah. really not done so i, I support i support lgbt yeah. and i also have, I've, I've got their banner in my house so yeah. it's not really a no, good absolutely. Thing. And I'm, that... I'm also a practicing muslim so. yeah i totally disagree with that but do you know what i, I don't think i've I've read anything yet, like where you have to stone someone to death. No way. I think everyone's just the same, and you should treat everyone equally. You know, it's just okay. well, whatever's happening is wrong. It's really ah, funny. amazing! Thank you so much. So, so for yourself, do you kind of just use your own mind when it comes to Islam, for example? Like when you're reading and learning about your religion, do you just think this makes sense and this doesn't, and that's how you follow your religion, or do you just, if it's in the Quran, you do it? I don't know, it's whatever you believe as well, mm -hmm. but to do something wrong or to hurt someone in a certain way, it's really wrong, like, it's, that's not in our religion, that's not what it says, that we can't, we shouldn't really hurt anyone. So it's like a contradiction in the religion? I don't know, I, I really don't, I just accept everyone the same, to be honest. No, no, I don't care about stoning, but I don't like gay people, that's it. So you don't, want to, you don't want to punish them for being gay? No, I'll do whatever you want, but just don't be gay around me, innit? Uh, you don't realise people are not gay around you, they're gay. It's no, not about yeah, you. I don't care, like, you can be gay wherever you want, like in a toilet, wherever. I don't care, but just don't be gay around me, innit? Simple. But they're not gay around you, no, they're just gay. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Well, so, that's you cool. know, gay people don't hit on straight guys like that, right? They don't force you into anything. Uh, listen, I've seen a couple of like, white guys that are saying I mean differently, innit? Like, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, you gotta trust them sometimes, innit? Yeah. But, but you can't trust straight men as well around oh, women, can you? Of course, that's why you gotta punch them in the face, like. Well, would you punch? Would you? Would you punch? Would you punch a mate? You would punch a mate on his face because he's gay. No, you would. If he was moving gay to me, I'll punch you in your face. What are you about? But why? It's not about you. It's about him. <laughs> it's not about you. Wait, wait, what the fuck did you do? You're going to. You're going to punch someone for loving another man. Yeah, because I don't want to be loved. But you don't, it's not about you. It's not about you. They, they're not about, it's about you. They're two people who are gay and it's not about well, you. But I'm not gay, so I don't why, want to be a Why are you so disgusted by gay people? No, I'm not disgusted. I don't, I don't care what okay, they do. Okay, I'll, 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 okay, I'll ask you a simple question, right? About homosexuality. You do realise it is natural. It is scientific. Yeah? So the way you're attracted to women, I think, is the way men are attracted to men. Right? Hey, do you agree? Do you agree it's natural? I agree it's natural, but I don't care. If you're gay, you can go do whatever you want, yeah? But you don't be gay around me. So, okay, so you don't want to be approached by yeah, a gay yeah, person? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's it, that's cool. it. Okay, cool. That's well, yeah, that's, that's fine. So, you might not try to stick your like, yeah. So if your mate was gay, you wouldn't really care because he's not approaching you. He's still just friends with you. Yeah, he could still be friends with me, but if he's gay with me, like, obviously... No, he's not going to be gay with Yeah, that's cool then, that's cool. Okay, so you just don't want to be approached yeah, yeah, yeah. by... Okay, cool. So you have no problem with gay people then? Yeah, I'll, I'll be saying that, yeah. So you disagree with parts of Islam as Muslim? Yeah, of course, but it is what it is. I can't really change it, innit? That's it. You can change yourself, though. Mm. You can change what you do. You can change, yeah, you, you can change can. what you think. You can, but I'm happy the way I am right now, so... Do you, know, do you know much about ex-Muslims? 
no, 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 no. Also, ex Muslims. So. Well, we so, okay, so we're all ex Muslims. Um, so, we left Islam, I think, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think of ex Muslims? No, I knew there were, there were going to be people like that, but obviously, like, it's up to them, innit? Whatever they want to do with their lives, they can do what they want, in that. Like, as long as it doesn't. Yeah, like, that's awesome. Yeah, it is an Islamic law that um, if you're gay or lesbian, then it's not allowed. Because Islamically, we should be in this country and this dunya for like the opposite sex, so we can like complete half our deen by getting married, not having intercourse with someone else. So, do you, so because of that, do you think it's okay to punish them if they are? To be honest, all I can say is that Allah can give them hidayat, like you know, just to like make sure that, that you know, just make dua for them, just make sure. That, we pray, make it like, to make okay. sure. But I don't, I don't think that it should be. That we, us Muslims, should do something about it. We should just leave it to our God. So. That's really interesting. So that's actually another interpretation of Islam, of the Islamic method, really. Because well, who are we to go around and punish people when it's, it's, we're, not the, we're not God? Well, a big part of Islam is the, is the Sharia law. Mm -hmm. The Prophet Muhammad said, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. So ultimately, if you disagree with that punishment or even doing certain other punishments, then you're actually saying, I don't always agree with parts of Islam. So is that something you, you would say? No, it's not I don't agree with parts of Islam, but um, you know, we should follow the Quran and the Sunnah, but some people put, take Islam into their own hands. They make it into something that's really complicated, but it's actually not. It's really easy, it's really simple. So some people do change the law. We have different castes, um, which really shouldn't really be how it is. If we just read the Quran, read the Sunnah, go according to how it is and just follow what Allah has sent us. So you don't need Sharia law? No, it's not It's not you don't need the Sharia law, but I know it's in like cities like um, or countries like Saudi Arabia and Dubai, it's really big there, yeah. but their punishment is extreme. So it's a bit different, like, um, okay, I understand they say if someone goes and steals in their country, they'll chop a hand off, they'll chop a finger off. I agree, like, Islamically, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Well, if it's in the Quran and if it's in the Hadith, mm. does that make it right? Well, if it's in the Quran and the Sunnah, then you know what, we should be following that, because what our Prophet Muhammad did, he came across in a way that is really simple, really easy, and why are we making it so difficult? Us Muslims make it Islam difficult than it already is. To me, it just seems like they're looking at the Quran and looking at the Sunnah, which you say you're supposed to do. They're looking at that and following it. So, I don't. So, what's the problem for you as a Muslim? There's no problem. I just think that you know people do take Islam the wrong way, and look with all the terrorism that's going on and all things, they just blame Muslims. But it's not. It's not our fault. It's not everyone's fault. Not all Muslims are the same. Everyone's, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. It's like they're entitled to what they want to be. So it's wrong that they're being punished for it, but then... Would, would, you, say, would you say there are parts of Islam that you don't agree with? Like um, this one, the punishment for gay people? Um, yeah. 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 Right. So if that is what they want to be, yeah. then that's completely fine. Yeah. So I mean, really be there for shouldn't it. be a punishment they for it. There shouldn't be a punishment no. for it. If there was a part of Islam that you could change, would you change that? Because as we know it, the Quran hasn't been changed, but if there were things about Islam that, like hijab and homosexuality and apostasy. From before, so I don't think it would be right if we could change anything about it. But if you had the option, if you had the option to change it, I mean, you're clearly not supportive of them being punished, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think to me that sounds like you don't agree with that. Yeah, we don't. And if there was an option to change that part of it, you'd like Probably to do that? would then, yeah. 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 No one told you that actually you shouldn't punish gay people, right? So in your religion that you believe in, it says you should. So it's just yourselves that are saying from logic yeah, yeah, yeah. that are deciding actually I don't agree with that. Yeah, because obviously everyone has their own rights in this. Well done, isn't it? Okay, so we just spoke to a bunch of people. It's been really, really interesting. Um, I think it's, the outcome is actually totally different to what I expected. I expected people to be a bit more sort of like, that's the law and we accept it for what it is. But interestingly, Muslims are kind of like, yeah, that is the law. We are Muslim, but we don't agree with it. So it's like they don't agree with parts of Islam or they're reinterpreting it or whatever they kind of their own version. But I think it's so great. I mean, what did you think? I think there were also people who just had never thought about it in depth because it didn't affect them. 
and also because they'd never really contemplated like the effects of Sharia law. They don't want to say no, we don't agree with it, um, but you know they're also like, oh, maybe it needs to be changed. I don't agree with parts of it. I think at the very least we got people to think about it and to actually maybe like a lot of young girls were like had never known about the laws, had never known Islam in depth. I think it just shows that a lot of Muslims don't really know their books or don't really know the depth of Sharia law. Yeah. They, that, that's the thing is they don't know and, and they were thinking on the spot a lot of them as you said you know they were kind of like well what do we think about it and their immediate response the natural response is for them to go well that's wrong but then it's like they have to kind of somehow quickly think how can it be right how can I make this okay how can I be Muslim and believe that um, so it was really really interesting but as I said I was pleasantly surprised um, I feel like I'm happy that Muslims are actually against that I mean from what we've spoken to uh, obviously then you know then them being kind of like pro killing gay people they kind of are just like live and let live which is the best way to be obviously ultimately um, but also we spoke to some people and we actually mentioned at the end that we were ex-Muslims and they and you kind of see that they're like oh that's a thing being an ex-Muslim is a thing you can leave Islam I think it was really good that yeah. like some of the girls are like what this existed and I think even you know just understanding that naturally their innate um, response is no this is wrong and I'm not gonna stand for it and like it kind of contradicts their belief as well but they've like you know just gone around it like just possibly like not acknowledging it as well yeah, definitely. So anyway, um, I think it's great. I think Muslims should have these discussions more and talk about this more. I think a lot of the time, these are Muslim people that don't even know about it. Surely it should be discussions within their own homes, within their own, you know, this is my religion. Let me find out about it rather than having ex-Muslims be like, do you know about this? Um, so I definitely think these discussions need to be encouraged and people just need to look into what they believe in because ultimately it shows that people believe in something without knowing everything in totality, which which is obviously how we got to where we are because we were like wait a minute what do we believe in what do we stand by as people um, and so yeah anyway I really enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed watching and do um, subscribe to my channel check out Zara's amazing channel on YouTube I know there's loads to come really interesting I'll put her details down below follow her on Twitter um, she's amazing take care bye